Oh, am I on? Oh, sorry. Okay. I'll give you a countdown. <clears throat> Alright. Three, two, one, go. So, this is Half Life. So, you'll notice I have a timer right there that's uh, in game time, so that's not going to count loads. So, um. Yep. In Half Life, to go fast, you bunny hop. I'm sure a lot of people know that. And what I'm doing is jumping and uh, strafing in the air, which gives me more speed. And I have jump bound to mouse wheel so that I can uh, jump as soon as I hit the ground. So I'm going to prevent fall damage right here by grabbing the ladder at the bottom of the elevator there. You can skip the elevator. And right here I'm going to go through these loading zones a couple times so that the scientist will react faster when I push him. So that's an NPC abuse glitch. You're supposed to wait for them to finish talking, but you can just push the scientist into the door. And, uh, yeah, he'll open it for you. So these guys are going to tell us that, uh, you know, we're changing our plans and stuff for the experiment. I don't know. Some story stuff. I'm going to push them closer to the buttons to open this door, just to save a couple seconds. Highly trained professional. Miwi with the best quote. Thank you, Miwi. Okay, so now we're in the test chamber, and we have to wait for a little while, so... Now would be a good time for donations, Kappa. Just kidding. Okay. You can kind of get stuck in this computer. And jump around. But yeah, we need to press the button. We're pressing the button. Here we go. Boom. Did it. So, I uh, decided to change the difficulty to easy because that's what I've been playing on lately because there's a couple of cool new strats that you can do to get out of this chest chamber uh, really fast. Before, on easy, it was really difficult because... Well, you're supposed to use a Vortigaunt to boost yourself up to that window, but on easy, the Vortigaunt does less damage, and... Yeah, there's an ancient myth going around where people didn't play this game on easy, because the damage boosting wasn't, like, it would do less, so you had to play on hard to get the most out of your damage boosts. But it's only the enemies that boost you less on easy. So, easy is actually faster in the end. The trick right here is quite a bit harder than on hard. So, it's still pretty difficult, but it's possible now, so. I'll probably mess it up a couple times, but it's still really cool, and I wanted to show it off, so... I'm gonna do that. So now we have to push the thing into the thing. There we go, yay. And usually I'd pull it back out and go up on the light, but I'm doing 
easy strats, which are actually hard. So I'm gonna wait for some Vortigaunts to spawn. There's the first one. There's the second one. Boom, he lands on my head. Now he's stuck there. I need to get up on the light as fast as possible, and I missed it. So that's why the strat's harder. Because you don't have much time to get on the light. I missed it again. This is really bad. I'm gonna save it right here. Hopefully that doesn't screw me over. Okay, I got up. So, you can see the Vorgaunt right there. Usually he would be right there on hard. But on easy, you do something different. Okay, so now we can go down. I go up there to uh, avoid a teleportation trigger. And I mess it up. There we go. So you can kind of land on him and then get boosted over here. And it's pretty cool. It's really difficult. Well, it's not that hard, but it's harder than the hard strat. Anyway, we're here. I wasted a bunch of time doing that, but hey, it was cool. So this is where the run really starts. And I'm dead. These lasers insta-gib you. <clears throat> which is not fun. Okay, so we got the crowbar. Start breaking windows. Barney was shooting some shots. So we're gonna go fast through here. Oh, damn. Oh, wow, I went too fast. And I missed the jump. Okay. That's great. We have a gun. I think we're gonna see some shots fired. You think so? Not yet. Okay. So we're raising the water level. It's pretty exciting. I'm gonna do a little object boost right here. And I'll explain that in a sec. Prevent some fall damage right there. I'm gonna shoot a box. Oh. And do another object boost. Basically in this game, when you use an object and move, uh, you go really fast for some reason. So if you let go of the object and jump at the right timing, you'll just go flying. And it's awesome. So you saw another NPC abuse glitch right there. I shot the scientist, which scared him into opening the door. Gordon is a very forceful man. I'm gonna jump on some head crabs. Pick it up here. Skip uh, moving some boxes around. Ow. Head crabs are not nice. Alright. Oh, got a shotgun. Okay. This part can be pretty annoying. Oh, I tried to shoot Barney. He's an asshole. No. I'm gonna shoot him. He's gonna get mad at me and chase me around. And then I'm gonna scare him into opening this door, hopefully, with some grenades. He'll shoot me, and then he'll open it. Yay. So that skips a big old map. I think a couple maps, actually. Where you have to go through the freezer section. But luckily we can just skip that. Can't save that guy. He's already dead. Gonna do another NPC abuse. I'm gonna hit him and tell him, open the door, dude, and then kill him. And then I have to stop the uh, the door from locking me in. So that NPC abuse glitch uh, skips an entire chapter of the game. And it's a very difficult chapter at that, so it's really good that we can skip it. So I'm gonna kill the zombie there. And I'm gonna prevent some more fall damage with a ladder. Boom. And I'm gonna skip the tram right there. Because on easy, well you can do this on hard too, but on easy you have a lot of health so you can do a grenade jump, a grenade boost, and just kind of hop your way to victory. My hops are pretty bad, but whatever. So 
the reason you're able to do that kind of stuff on easy is because you get more health packs. Well, you don't get more health packs, but the health packs give you more health, so. And same with the armor. Okay. Oh, I missed. There's no reason to kill those, I just do it. Okay, so this is Blast Pit. It's a pretty fun chapter. It starts off with a crazy old bunny hopping sequence. Hopefully I get it. Yep. So that skips a little bit. Usually you'd go in that little area and see all a bunch of tentacles attacking scientists and stuff. But you can just skip it and go straight over here. And your objective in this area is to turn on the generator, which is what I'm going to do first. And also the oxygen and the, uh, the gas. So I'll turn the generator on, and then I'm going to do a little trick right here and hopefully not die again. Sweet. So, I think that's called slope bug or something. Edge bug, I don't even know. But it prevents fall damage, which is cool. And it's pretty precise. So I'm going to use a health kit through the wall here. See, it's right there. Take some damage off the electricity. And then I'm going to do a grenade jump. All the way over here. So once again, skipping more tentacles. Because we don't want to see tentacles. What is this? What is this game? I don't want tentacles. So the water prevents fall damage. Just like Half-Life 2. Makes a lot of sense. A couple centimeters of water can work wonders. I'm gonna prevent more fall damage with the ladder. Actually, I'm gonna die. And then I'm gonna do it right. Yay. And the fan turns on, and then I go up here. And I'm tr gonna try to crouch really quickly through there so I can keep some speed while I'm hopping through. Kinda messed it up, but it kinda worked out. So now we're gonna turn on the oxygen and the fuel. So we completed our two objectives for Blast Pit. Now we can go murder the tentacles that we've never even seen. So right there I just uh, duplicated a health kit by shooting um, the explosive crate and the, uh, the normal crate that had the health in it at the same time, which causes the uh, health to duplicate. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I have too much health. There's a scientist over there that you can get some health off of, but since I have 52, I can't do it. So anyway, I used some buttons through the wall you saw up there. You're not supposed to be down here while these guys are dying, but, you know, that's the fastest way to get down here. So that was Blast Pit. Pretty cool. Fun chapter. I like it. There's some health and armor down here, so we can fill up a little bit before going on the next adventure. It's right here. It's something interesting. Um, there's a push trigger in this current right here for the barrels so that they'll move, but you can actually use it too if you go on the surface and uh, duck a lot, like crouch, press the crouch key a bunch, which I have bound to mouse wheel as well. So you can just go really fast. So I'm going to put a trip mine right here, and this is actually a, an entire chapter, but you can skip the entire thing just by doing that. So that was Power Up. That's the shortest chapter that you don't skip like entirely, like we saw the first map of it. So we're going to go straight to Honor Rail, because we don't want to play that stupid map. You're supposed to get a tram in that map and then use it on Honor Rail, but you actually don't need it. You can actually just bunny hop through the entire thing. So that grenade jump skipped a little bit of Honor Rail. Just the beginning of it. Now I killed that guy so I could grab his gun. Because the SMG is really important. Because it gives you grenades. So I did another object boost right there. It's a little bit bad because I lost all my speed, but it's okay. So the rail in the center there hurts you, so you can't hop off of that, unfortunately. Oh, they shot me.
I'm gonna grab some health. Just for safety and stuff. So yeah, this, uh, this chapter is pretty cool. We just kind of hop a lot on a little tiny section of the floor. And it's really easy to lose a lot of time here. It's right there, I shot a grenade to uh, stop the Vortigons from shooting at me. Because it scares them, you know. They're like, oh god, a grenade, I gotta get out of the way. So right here, I'm going to throw a grenade through the top of the elevator, and it blows up some crates right there, which would normally block your way. Get some more grenades. Oh. Some trip mines that you can jump over. There's some guys behind these crates that I just murdered and took their grenades. I'm going to attempt to do something. It's kind of cool. There we go, an edge bug right there. So with a precise angle, you can uh, fall off that area. Usually you'd die from fall damage, but if you do it good enough, you can uh, make it so that you don't take any fall damage. Oh, I think I tried to run. So I just pressed a button through the uh, wall. We're supposed to go through here and press it, but yeah, you can just press it through the wall. It's way faster. I'm still going to go over here because I'm on a timer right now. The uh, the button actually launches a rocket. I'm just using a health kit through the wall. And uh, so yeah, you can do whatever you want. You just saw the tail end of the rocket go up. So now I have to wait for these doors to open, so that's why. I can just chill for a little bit, and now we go. So that was on a rail. It's a pretty fun chapter. Now we're in apprehension. swim around for a little bit. It's pretty boring at the beginning. This is a fun chapter though because there's some cool bunny hopping stuff that you can do. So you can hop over to this, which is cool. And then you can just hop around here. I'm skipping a lot of uh, enemy spawning triggers, and then you can do a, another object boost across there. There's a G-Man. <laughs> He's just like, what the hell? Okay. So right here I'm going to shoot a grenade, which uh, scares the Vortigaunt into opening a door for me. Usually you'd have to kill all the enemies in there, and then the scientists would open the door from the inside. But you can just make the Vortigaunt open the door. I'm going to do another... Oh, I messed up the object boost. It's okay. I just did that for fun. He has a message, but I don't care. He dies anyway. So right here, you're supposed to be getting uh, beaten up and captured, but it actually just teleports you to a black room behind that room that I just went in, and you can use that health kit through the wall. Dang it, Psycho Reaper. Fucking rip chip. So those guys are all excited that they're going to try to murder me. Even though they're just going to throw me in here and then leave my crowbar. So I can escape. So yeah, that little tunnel gives you a little speed boost and you can just continue the speed boost by bunny hopping. So 
So now we're going to residue processing. Which is kind of like a big obstacle course. Lots of stuff to pop around and don't go in the acid because it hurts. These conveyor belts are fun. They make you go fast. I'm gonna do some more push trigger manipulation stuff right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go really fast on the surface of this water. And then I'm gonna go down here. And there's another push trigger down here, but you can just hold use and you'll go fast on that one. It's pretty easy. So there are these crushers right here and you need to stop them. Oh, I thought I pressed the button. There we go. Go up there. And you can skip all of these. Oh god. That was painful. Yeah, this part's kind of confusing casually. Oh. It's right there. I lowered my FPS really low to like four. And when you lower your FPS that low, um, your hitbox kind of teleports around, so you can kind of go through trip mines <laughs> without worrying about it. Okay, so that was residue processing, now we're in questionable ethics. This is uh, a lot of shots are going to be fired, let's just say that. Ah, dead guy blocking me. Please move. Please move, dead guy. So I shoot those guys so that they don't mess with me. For some reason, if you shoot them, they just forget all about you. I'm gonna kill this guy for his grenades. Place a trip mine for the guy behind me. Place some trip mines for the head crabs and the the glass boxes, whatever. Alright, so right there I just triggered Barney into uh, talking about the Gauss Cannon. So that he'll kill himself with it, right here. And then I can take it, yay. And I made sure I grabbed some Gauss ammo and a bunch of grenades for the future. So I shoot the, um, the glass that I put the trip mines on so that they'll explode. And the reason I do that is because you need to bring a scientist over through here, but if the headcrabs are alive, then he'll get all scared. So you have to kill all of them, and that's just the fastest way to kill them. So you need the uh, scientist to open this door. It's gonna fill up on armor. While he opens it. Okay. That was questionable ethics. Now, surface tension. Probably the hardest chapter in my opinion now. Oh, I tried to make it all the way to the ladder. It's a pretty tough goss jump. Oh yeah, I haven't talked about the goss can at all. Oh, I have to cut my arm off. Stuck. 27 hours or something. 127? If it was only 27 hours, that wouldn't be that bad. Okay, we got through. Whatever, dude. Okay, since I took a bunch of damage right there, um, I'm gonna grab some more armor. This helicopter's shooting at me. And I'm just trying to get through. Just minding my own business. I have to press this to open a thing in the next map. Ah, bullets. Okay. So there's a minefield right there, so you have to kind of jump around it. Okay, so here's an interesting trick. Um, you can skip this entire section by going out of bounds. There's a little ramp on the side of that tunnel that you can just goss boost off of and then go straight out of bounds and go right over here to the end. 
It's a nice skip. I'm just gonna be ghost boosting through the uh, tunnels. Another ghost boost right here over the gate. It's pretty cool. It's a really useful weapon. Possibly the most useful. Okay. It's a pretty difficult goss boost right here. I'm gonna try it. And I mess it up. I'm bad at it for some reason. Luckily, the backup strut's kinda cool. You can shoot the barrels through the, uh, the fence there. Usually that thing would be electrified, but you have to blow up the barrels so that the generator will turn off. Okay, so this is trip mine hell. I'm gonna do a self goss off this wall to get up oh up here. What a self goss is is there are some walls and objects that you can shoot with the gauss cannon that'll um reflect the damage back at you. And it boosts you upwards a little bit. So right there I just duplicated ammo for the gauss gun again. Another duplication. I'm gonna grenade boost up here and go out of bounds. And go down here and use this artillery gun to blow up this big old door. And then just boost straight over here. I'm gonna shoot a grenade to scare the Vortigaunts and do a cool little goss boost off of this. Oh! So, this section, if you uh, mess it up at all, you have to redo the entire map because there's an important NPC abuse glitch that you have to pull off. And with NPC abuse glitches, you can't reload a save in the same map. So I have to do it all right. So I'm going to try to get this guy to open this door right here. So I'm going to throw a grenade, and then he'll come in and open it, and then I'm going to get stuck in it. And he'll notice that my health is going up, and then going all the way back down to zero, and then going up. And basically my health is overlapping, so I'm gaining one health every frame off of this door. And um, I'm going to stand here for like 10 or 11 cycles of 255. And I have not been counting. I think I'm at like 5 or 6. 7. Stand for a little bit longer just to be safe because it's a marathon, right? Okay. So now that I have a ton of health, I can just do whatever I want. Which is cool. I can't do whatever I want. I mean, there's still a chance of dying. You can actually still die. Uh-oh, that might not be close enough. Okay. So you have to use the artillery thing to blow up the door right there. So this is forget about Freeman. I'm gonna shoot this window and object boost out the window. Grab some Goss ammo. Here. I'm gonna try to do some cool goss gun stuff. Ah, mess it up. This area has a lot of walls that you can self goss off of, so you can kind of boost around using that. It's pretty fun. Oh, yeah, I picked up the Hornet gun earlier. Um, and what the Hornet gun does is you can shoot it into a door as after you open it, and it will close itself because it shoots hornets, which are like physical beings. And they uh, they block the door and make it shut. So I'm gonna do that again right here. Oh, that guy punched me. There. So now we're in Lambda Core. That was a short chapter, geez. I didn't realize how short that was. So whenever I'm able to go fast with a grenade jump, definitely gonna do it, because you know I have so much health anyway. So we're just gonna do that. And go straight over here. This next section is another NPC abuse glitch. And I have to kill these alien grunts and be right on the door in time. And I just shot a scientist through the door. And he's going to freak out and open this door, which skips some of his speech, which is nice. And I self goss off the wall there. And I go straight into the uh, elevator.
So that's a nice skip. Saves a bit of time. More land the core. Ow. The self cost by accident. It's okay though. Okay, so this part's pretty fun. To get up here quickly, you can just do a nice grenade, double grenade jump up there. Prime a grenade and switch weapons, and it actually won't go off <laughs> until you pull it out again, and it'll just go off automatically, which is pretty cool. Go through this teleporter. Oh. And just go all the way up here. Skip all that teleport puzzle nonsense. And I'm going to do another NPC abuse. Shoot Barney through the wall. He'll try to kill me. I'll shoot a grenade, and then he'll open up the other doors for me. That skips quite a lot. And another really big skip right here. I shoot uh, some hornets into the... Uh, the teleporter thing. Usually you'd have to kill a ton of enemies to get into Zen. And the scientist calls me a fool because it's supposed to kill you. And uh, shooting the hornets prevents the uh, the death trigger from killing you for like a split second. So I had to break the, uh, the cage that was holding in these crystals so that they would all activate. Wow, they all activate at the same time. That was cool. Okay. Gonark's lair. The Gonark is uh, the mother of head crabs, and she's also a giant ball sack, which is very exciting. So I'm gonna position some satchel bombs, because I know she's gonna stand over there later. And I'm gonna get ready to zap. Zap the sack. So I just zap it, and then she runs over here. And then I zap it again, and then she runs over to where I place the trip mines. And then I blow her up. And then she moves on to the next area. So this boss fight is kind of simple. You just kind of do enough damage, and then she moves on to the next, like, phase, I guess. And you have to do that so she'll open up that area. Open up that wall. I can surf off of this wall, it's pretty fun. I'm gonna place another trip mine. Or not trip mine, but satchel charge. Zap the ball sack again. You gotta stand in kind of a specific spot right here, otherwise she'll glitch out. Throw a grenade, blow her up, and then she'll open this wall. So I'm gonna skip the rest of this fight by putting a bunch of uh, explosives right here. And um, it blows up the floor while it's supposed to. You can shoot the floor to get rid of the rest of the health. I'm gonna do a quick grenade boost over here. Skip that entire map. But yeah, what you're supposed to do is uh, fight the Gonark, and then she'll fall down and break the floor right there, but you can just skip her fight. So since the uh, Hornet's a physical thing, it can break those rocks for you before the uh, Gargantuan goes through. Yeah, the sound is pretty fun because the uh, the gravity is lower, so your bunny hopping is a little different, and it's cool. I'm just gonna do some grenade jumps, shoot the Vortigaunt so that it doesn't shoot me. I have to shoot this thing to get through. Okay, that was pointless. Get through this pachinko area. I'm gonna do another double grenade boost right here. Ooh, that was close. And we're coming up to the end, last level. This is the portal to the end. Giant alien Hitler, baby. He was enslaving all the Vortigaunts. And I have to destroy those crystals, otherwise he'll regenerate his health. And then I'm just gonna go under him and shoot grenades up his butt. And I'm gonna use the uh, 
Hornet gun so that his teleporters that he shoots at me won't get me. And then I'm gonna do another double grenade boost right here. Coming up on time. Got him. 34-16. That's not bad. <laughs> so that's the uh, that's the end of the game right there. So at the end, uh, G-Man talks you, tries to like recruit you into his G-Man squad. He's like, be a G-Man, it's fucking awesome. Thanks. Yeah, that was my first blind playthrough, it was really fun. Glad you guys could join me. You can jump on his head and kind of like make him freak out. He's like, "What are you doing up there?" That's why I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my employers, and they have authorized me to offer you a job. They agree with me that you have limitless. Yeah, if I didn't mess up the test chamber, this would have been like. High 33, which would have been sick. You've proved yourself a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding. What I to don't do. know if um, Just step in Chops wants me to stop right now. I haven't checked Discord, but I'm just gonna join the G-Man squad really quick. Mm -hmm. Rather an anti-climax after what you've just survived. Okay, G-Man. If you go in here with your flashlight turned on, he kind of spoops you. Done, Mr. Freeman. And you can see G-Man's body. Or, I mean, Gordon's body. Okay, that was fun. Baller credits music so good okay we're done all right thanks for watching half-life